Okay, you guys all are probably going to college in the next one to two years, and you've been saving, most likely your parents have been saving for a while, but it's still going to be very expensive. So today we're going to look at the cost, we're going to look at why it's so expensive, and some things you can do to reduce those costs. First of all, the costs, and you can see this website that I'm on, it's from uh, CNN Money, and I have this links. these links are also going to be put up on the... Uh, video page. So I went to William and & Mary and you just put the name in and it's College of William & Mary and you can see that the cost is 27000 for in-state tuition and 37 for out-of-state and if I get grants and scholarships if I can succeed in getting them 20, well, 22000 or 92000 for the whole four years. A lot more expensive, by the way, than I think when I went to graduate in 1986, it was 6500 a year for tuition and room, not for books. Okay, so uh, that's pretty cheap as things go. A lot of you will go to private schools. My brother went to Duke University. I even hesitate to see what that costs. Okay, so 57000 now, when it's much more expensive, you can see that you might be able to qualify for grants and or scholarships, two things you're going to be learning about in your work this week, uh, and knock the price down and much more, less money, but still a lot of money. Uh, so, why is it so much? Well, number one is you got to pay for tuition. you got to pay for the professors. you got to pay for the buildings. you got to pay for the wear and tear. Uh, of doing of the facilities and so the number two thing is fees library parking student government registration ID cards I mean it goes on and on and on and really it's if someone says what's tuition that's different from tuition plus fees and so then we combine them housing and meals uh, are another thing you, you kind of live somewhere and then books are prohibitively expensive one thing I might add uh, is that if since you're used to this course, or will be really used to this course uh, by the end of the year, that you try to get online books because they're a lot cheaper and or if you get a, a regular book, sell it back once you're done. Okay, getting to and from and getting around are other expenses. And then the next question is how do you knock the prices down? And so this is educationplanner.org. And dual enrollment, and you click on all these and you get a little more detail, is what you guys can do if it's offered, and I doubt it's offered in most of your schools, but if Fairfax County had had it, and rather than taking AP, you would have a professor teach it, or someone who is, teaches it both, like I teach at Mason. So that would be ways to do it. Start off at community college, uh, be it if you're in high school and you're taking summer courses or a night course or even going to NOVA. If you go to NOVA for two years, for example, you're guaranteed admission into George Mason as long as you have a B average. Look at housing options. What does it cost to live on campus as opposed to not? Most universities do require freshmen to live on campus for the first year, but not after that. And can you get roommates? Uh, the right meal plan. When I was around, we had 10, 15, and 21 meals. I never got 21 meals because I found it much cheaper to eat breakfast in my room, cereal, Pop-Tarts, something like that, and I made a couple lunches, you know, sandwiches, and then, so I always got a 10 meal plan and cut costs significantly. Uh, new textbooks, buy the old ones, buy online, get a job. I was on a 50% scholarship for track, so that was my job, but there are plenty of jobs you can get on or near school. Look at all the grants, the scholarships, financial aid uh, that your parents can qualify, your counselors can help you on that. Uh, compare the loans, see which one has lower interest rates. Graduating in time, that's so huge. You know, the average person takes five years. Do it in four. Um, and don't go to summer school. Just build up the classes during the uh, school year and, and do uh, 
other classes in the summer. Don't put it on your credit card. Leave your car at home so that you're not doing wear and tear on the car. So that you, I mean, most schools will give you a bus transportation as part of your fees, if you will, to a shopping center so you don't have to worry about it. And therefore, your prices will be lower. Okay, that's all the additional stuff. The rest of it, of course, in your assignments for the week.